around the world this is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube Later late thank you Yanis later there is an internet at home not happens but quite rarely yes I'm a little bit late everybody so sorry about that hello everybody yes sir okay this is Forex Trading Course 101 everybody and we are in the basic module we are learning about market structure highs and lows and trends and today is lesson 10 everybody how to trade trends inside the market structure remember what we are trying to do we are trying to build the three pillars pillar number one the strategy and or a system that we understand and is going to be built from these modules the strategy and or system and it must be easy for you to understand everybody and then we are going to learn about risk management because you can have the strategy and or a system Vincenzo, come stai? Audio and video ok uh, you can have a strategy and a system but if you don't understand how risk management works this strategy and system is not going to help you and the big one, the psychology part so what is the challenge for the beginner trader everybody you can have a strategy and or a system right that in backtesting is profitable and you could understand the risk management but you aren't making any consistent profits you need to work on the psychology part psychology is one of the big one and remember 90 percent of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not trading or investment advice and for homeworks and or questions you have my gmail contact my skype contact and my linkedin contact everybody and let's go to the charts right also remember everybody i have a 20 seconds delay on the chat so lesson number 10 how to trade trends inside the market structure tell me everybody a currency pair and the time frame remember this is beginner stuff first come first is served so tell me a time frame and a currency pair and we are going to check how to trade trends inside the market structure in the meantime everybody this is market structure hello Annie how are you this is market structure and we learned that market structure has an extension and then it has a retracement right and how we are going to identify we are going to identify the extension and the retracement with the change in the short term trend everybody so the blue structure the red one is the Giuseppe no 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 I'm sorry my friend nothing USD Swedish crown let's go with the most trading everybody don't trade USD Swedish crown don't trade the uh, Turkish lira my friends don't trade go out of these currency pairs why would you trade USD Swedish krona why would you trade the Mexican peso everybody why would you trade the Japanese yen I'm uh, not Japanese yen, the Chinese yuan I'm sorry Euro JPR for our chart okay Giuseppe if you are beginner trader trade the most tradable currency pairs why is that everybody I know some of you that are stubborn and you want to trade the Turkish Lira and the Swedish Krona and the, you know why would you trade them they are not suitable for the beginner trader why not because and this is the concept everybody I mean I'm not your father right Giuseppe you can do whatever you want but you can identify everybody the patterns on the most tradable currency pairs okay you can identify the patterns on the most tradable currency pairs and one more thing those currency pairs the exotics are expensive 
did you hear everybody that trading is a business trading is a business and it has it has costs so the more exotic the currency pair the higher the cost you are going to pay high higher spread and higher I don't know if there's there your broker is taking commission but the more exotic the currency pair the more the higher the spread and the bigger the commission so if trading is a business and trading is a business everybody you are not a responsible manager why would you pay double or triple on a currency pair you know when you can pay less right okay so back to the lesson how to trade trends inside the market structure so we learned about this in the previous lesson that the best the best entry everybody so we're going to repeat you need to learn this right trading concept trading concept the best entry is when is when the retracement is over okay the best entry is when the retracement is over everybody so passion how do you know that the retracement is over we learn about this everybody the retracement is over when you are going to see the change in the short-term trend and you are going to see we didn't learn about this but you are going to see also a uh, in this example a down structure you are going to see a break of the uptrend line and you are going to see a change everybody in the short term trend so the market is not going to make any more higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows but the market is going to make lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs so in a down down structure we have and we have ends the cat is in a down structure and you're going to see the extension lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs then you're going to see the retracement higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and then end of the retracement end of the retracement you are going to see again the market is going to shift from the short term uptrend is going to shift to the short term downtrend and here is the question everybody if you are if you are sometimes is luck right if you are lucky enough why is that because maybe you could be sleeping you know maybe you could be watching TV maybe you could be listening to music right we cannot stare at, at charts 24 hours a day before the quarantine you know maybe you could be <laughs> walking with the dog you know some of you are still working out there maybe you could be at work right and you you didn't catch this wave you didn't catch this entry so especially on the smaller time frames right and let's say that some of you some currency pair are going to be this is going to be the entry to go short and let's color code this like like that clone or maybe this could be the entry this could be the entry right clone or this could be the entry right maybe you entered here maybe you entered here you know maybe you're here hello honey bye yes tell me, me. No, 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 no. everybody my daughter is here no problem so maybe you could be entered here enter here and enter here okay <laughs> yes okay so how to trade trends inside the market structure right and we're going to check first NZD CAD NZD CAD NZD CAD daily chart and if you compress the chart everybody so you are going to see 
extension, retracement, extension, retracement, extension, retracement, extension and as you can see there is a short term trend right and this is the short term trend and we don't have the crystal ball right but just for you to know how to trade how to spot you are going to see the market making higher highs higher lows right the market was making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows and then it reversed higher high higher low higher high right higher low higher high higher low and the cat everybody and i'm talking to you joseph especially and the cat is one of the easiest pairs to trade the beginning of the extension that will be my stop loss yes we are going to address this so everybody as you can see ends decade is very easy because it's very trending you have simple trends you know and we learned about the different market behaviors right those two are not tradable you know the market making lower lows uh, higher lows and lower highs and the other one is the chaos when the market's making higher highs and lower lows so on NZD cat those two those two not tradable patterns appear very 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 uh, they don't appear quite a lot of time okay so NZD cat it's very easy to trade and talking about trading the market structure everybody the market was making higher highs higher lows right and we don't have the crystal ball but i can i can draw an uptrend line until here and i'm going to extend the trend line right and i need to monitor the higher highs you know this is the higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high so this was the line like this okay and let's monitor the market everybody now we have now the market broke the uptrend line we can wait a little bit more right now the market broke the trend line and this is going to be the yellow and as you can see the market start making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows tell me you see this everybody tell me you see this tell me you see the change in the short term trend on NZDK daily chart everybody okay I'm going to change this one to red no problem maybe yellow is not the perfect color so let's make this red can you see everybody the change from the uptrend to the downtrend can you see the change everybody tell me tell me you see this the market was making higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows we were in a retracement and then in some point in time the market broke the uptrend line and started making lower lows lower highs <laughs> lower lows lower highs yes sir sigma says yes okay very good so this would be the entry everybody we would short the market here and we would put a stop loss where where should we put a stop loss and again right so we don't have the crystal ball the best stop loss would be okay we don't have the crystal ball but the best stop loss would be where as Victor said the best stop loss would be this was structure this was the best stop loss would be up in here right this would be the best stop loss and we talked about this if you don't have enough capital then you put the stop loss up in here but remember you are 
you, ha you have an 80% chance for the market to stop you out in here why is that because we learned about this concept also where is it not here not here okay we learned about this everybody because the market if this is the extension and this is the retracement the market can do anything it wants when it wants right so sometimes the market can push lower and then it's going to reverse like this for any reason you know and your extension is still going to be like this let's make it green this is going to be your extension but your retracement is going to be like this you know and this is why the best stop loss as Victor said the best stop loss is in the beginning of the extension this is the best place to put the stop but many times we don't have enough capital do we we don't have the trillions and the zillions dollars so that's why most likely I'm a beginner trader and I'm learning how to trade and I have what 100 bucks in my account maybe a thousand bucks in my account you know and I don't have enough capital to play this game on the daily chart right because if I'm going to enter here and I'm going to put my stop loss up here, I'm going to risk what? Maybe 30% of my account, 40% of my account, 50% of my account. And this is a challenge for the beginner trader. Santano says yes, Seni says yes, Miguel says these are the so-called border borderlines highs and lows. Giuseppe says yes, yes sir, yes Miguel. Okay, so and the cat we would enter here right and look what happens everybody the market just right now where should we profit take well we have two parameters right any don't worry we are going to check your JPY in just a second just to explain this concept everybody so stop loss is easy now where should we profit take and answer answer number one is risk reward must be one versus two this is one where should we profit take this is answer number one now what is challenging everybody is what is chat? Well, let me see where is the other one? Where is the other one? Not in here. Okay, what is challenging everybody is that if you enter in the beginning, then risk reward is okay. Now, and the other one is edit label, answer number two, answer number two is when the short term retracement changes and this is the challenging one this is this lesson what is this lesson about when the short term retracement changes short term not retracement short term trend changes right so if we are skilled enough and if we are lucky enough everybody because sometimes we sleep you know we do our things you know but let's say that we we are skilled enough and we spot this opportunity so this would be our stop loss because I'm a little trader and I don't have the trillions and the zillions right this would be my stop loss so a reward it's double right one one more and clone two so this will be my reward and let's change the color change the color okay so this is the easy one right risk reward one per two let's go 
Which one is better, risk reward mature or, or at market structure? Santano, great question, what do you think? When is considered to be broken the retracement as soon the structure change or at the beginning of the retracement? Victor, I don't understand your question. When is considered to be broken the retracement? Answer, when the short term trend changes. As soon the structure change, no, or at the beginning of the retracement? No, at the end of the retracement, not at the beginning, Victor. Now, this is the easy one, right? Who knows the answer to the number two when the short term trend changes? Why should you profit everybody? Why should you profit take when the short term trend changes? Who knows the answer to this question? This is a golden nugget everybody. Why should you profit take when the short term trend changes? What do you think? Not in here, not in here, up in here, no. Okay, I'm going to draw it again, everybody, just... Or maybe we can put it here, right? So this was the extension, a retracement, and the short-term trend. Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. So this would be one. And we said that the market can do anything it wants, so you know maybe it's going to do something like this until here we don't know this right and we would enter in here this would be an entry let's call, call this a green this would be another entry let's call, call this in green this would be another entry everybody we don't see the market in the future right but the question is if we should risk one and get two why should we profit take when the market changes the short-term trend what, what is what is what makes sense to everybody it makes sense to you to be stopped out or because we don't know this is just an example right the market can retrace again and can fall right I mean the market can do anything it wants so between those two where should we profit take number one is the easy one risk reward but number two when the short term trend changes because a new retracement is coming after the end of the extension paying attention at highs and lows as well as support or reason miguel you are absolutely correct yet but you said the retracement can continue The retracement can continue, yes, the market waves up and down. Miguel, you are correct. Now I'm going to challenge you. Everybody help Miguel out. You are my teacher, I'm your student. And I'm going to tell you, teacher Miguel, okay, I'm going to close my trade, I'm going to take my profits, but what about the risk reward? If I take profit too soon, Am I doing the right thing or am I doing the wrong thing? Because yesterday FX Passion Miguel said if I'm taking small profits, I'm making a bad trading habit. So what about now? Should I, should I take the should I take the profit when the short term trend changes? Everybody help me go out. This is an extremely important question and, and, and answer. So if we are lucky, right? If the market is going to fall, fall, fall like it did on NZDCAD. Or maybe not, you know, maybe not, maybe not. Bam, okay. This was an easy one, right? The market. We entered the market and we hit our take profit level right so this was an easy one sometimes the market just does this
and this is why I'm telling you NZDCAD everybody if you're a beginner trader NZDCAD is one of the easiest to make money because it's waving nicely waves see so this is the easy one but we're going to check euro jpy the four hour chart sometimes the market is not going to wave it's going to reverse yes teacher amigo you are absolutely correct everybody so this is the answer when you exit so let's clear let's clarify first number let's clarify one thing who in here thinks that it's okay to take profit when the short-term trend changes and who in here thinks that it's not okay to take profits when the short-term trend changes let's take a look on this example everybody who in here thinks that I could be entering on the first green or the second green or the third green so those are my trades right so entry number one this is going to be entry number two and this is going to be entry number three right and I entered in the third but then the market reversed so who in here thinks that taking profits when we see the change in the short term trend makes sense let's make a pool everybody and who in, and don't be shy there is no right or wrong we are here to talk you know we are here to have a conversation and who in here thinks no it's not okay to take profits when the short term trend changes is not okay okay why not everybody if you say well it's okay to take profits when the short-term trend changes why do you think so and if you think no it's not okay to take profits when the short-term trend changes why not why not everybody I need two more answers then I'm going to give you the answer Victor is one I need two more answers everybody don't be shy and try to think everybody don't be lazy in learning right who in here thinks it's okay to take profits when the short-term trend changes and who in here thinks it's not okay to take profits victory is one okay I have on the other streaming platform yes it's okay yes it's okay yes it's okay okay but why it's okay stick to the plan as a warrior no sir <laughs> I think it's okay but later I want to re-enter the mentality psychology <coughs> everybody if you want to become a professional trader okay trading concept concept and you are going to be sick and tired on the trading concepts don't let a winner turn into a loser everybody this is a trading concept don't let a winner turn into a loser so if you entered on entry number one and the market was making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and you were in profit 60 50 whatever pips and then the market reversed making higher highs higher lows and if you let your winner turn into a loser you are br oh, I'm going to change okay it's not a concept it's a rule rule now we're going to change the tone of trading rule it's a trading rule everybody don't let a winner turn into a loser if you work for me in my hedge fund everybody and I see that you let a 60 70 pip profit turn into a loser we are going to have a conversation I'm going to ask you Victor why in the world 
Did you let your winner turn into a loser? Why did you do this, everybody? One, one, two is okay. Yes, Akos, but what if the market reverses? It's happening on GBB CAD right now. It's happening on NSD CAD in the short term time right now. It's always okay because nobody knows when the structure will change. Yes. Hello, sir. Hello, time to shine, sir. We are willing to lose more than to win. Sigma greedy. Maybe. Everybody, this is a trading rule, not a concept anymore. Trading rule. Don't let a winner turn into a loser. Okay. There is only one reason you could have to le let a winner turn into a loser. And that one is, oh, I had a family emergency and I need to get out to save the life of my whatever, you know, father, mother, daughter, cat, dog, whatever. This is the only reason. But to when talking about trading, you know, you don't have any reasons to let your winner turn into a loser, everybody. But I think when you close one, two, and three in total, you are not in profit. Any? Yes. So this is the question, and we're going to check your JPY. So what is the answer, everybody? Don't let a winner turn into a loser. And of course, if I'm going to close, as Annie said, if I'm going to close on break even you know I'm going to close on break even or maybe with a small stop you know then I or maybe with small profit you know let's let's talk about profits I I closed with a small profit and many of you are going to complain right now passion but you said yesterday that we are making bad trading habits and doing this and the answer is yes so what is the solution? The solution is everybody, you need to work, this is a job, you need to work and you need to monitor the market and you need to, as Miguel said, you need to re-enter when the next change in the short term trend appears. This is how professional traders trade market structure. And this is one of the lessons that you should watch two or three times because there are many trading secrets in here that maybe you think you understand but if you are trading for two, three, four, five years and with no consistent success you don't quite understand you know so you need to you need to sum up everybody all the concepts that we are teaching you and you need to sum up all the rules that we are teaching you and need, you need to work on those and with time this is a process with time you are going to understand you know and there is a comment on the other trading platform passion I'm confused I know it's confusing everybody because you have different concept right concept number one from yesterday where is where is the concept I change right concept from yesterday don't take small profits right and today we are learning you can take a small profit if you see a change in the short-term trend but you must re-enter it's a must everybody okay so this lesson today is an upgrade of the yesterday's lesson this is an upgrade everybody if you if you enter on entry number one and if you close the trade when the short term trend changes and you end with a small profit and you monitor the market the market is going against you you follow the rule don't let a winner turn into a loser and you follow the market and you re-enter on the next opportunity everybody then you are not making any 
bad trading habits okay and you are following the rule that you must work you must earn more than you lose okay are you still with me everybody are you still with me too much information Stoyan have just moved my stop loss on USDCAD and AUDMSD congratulations Stoyan are you still with me everybody but if you enter on entry number one and you close down here with a small profit and then you change the time frame or you change the currency pair or you close the trading platform then yes you are making a bad trading habit okay so this lesson today is an upgrade when you enter isn't your next trade for example less than 2 to 1 no sir no sir you decide a great question time to shine everybody we as traders we decide it's a decision you know where is the example here right when this happens everybody it's my decision I can say well I want to go 3 to 1 or I want to go 4 to 1 time to shine see it's a decision right so let's see let's see let's see let's see the market broke let's see let's see it went up it went up it went up sideways almost hit my stop loss let's compress the chart let's compress bam see time to shine it's a decision everybody nobody's going to tell you he, there is this is the trading rule for the beginner trader if you are going to risk one you must earn minimum two but if you are going to earn two or three or four it's up to you everybody you are the manager of this business you need to decide where you are going to take profits and he says no it's clear okay euro jpy four hour chart okay we're going to compress the chart compress the chart compress the chart compress the chart I'm not seeing the structure so I'm going to go on the 8 hour chart 8 hour chart okay 8 hour chart let me see the structure so okay so until here on the 4 hour chart we were in an up structure and now we are in a down structure everybody so let's draw the structure extension retracement extension deep retracement everybody this is the example great example any extension let me see let me see retracement extension extension retracement everybody so we are here this is on the 8 hour chart so we are going to have the same on the 4 hour chart everybody okay how to trade the trends inside the market structure well the opportunity everybody so the market is making higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows until here everybody so this is the structure let's color code and this is the short term trend everybody do we agree that the market is making higher highs higher lows until the up structure and then the market start making lower lows lower highs lower lows everybody do we agree on that here is the first high here is the first lower low compared to this low everybody and this is the first higher low right and this is the first I mean this is the lower high and this is the first lower low do we agree on that everybody on EURJPY 4 hour chart 
you can say passion yes I agree you can say passion no you are wrong I don't agree you know you can say I don't know I'm not sure but do we agree and it says yes okay so and again we have the uptrend line break so this was the uptrend line let's color code this in black this was the uptrend line right the market broke the uptrend line as you can see lower low lower high lower low the market broke the uptrend line so this was the entry right I'm going to quadrant this was the entry here was the entry right so where would you put a stop loss everybody and talking about patterns maybe just maybe just maybe this market is sideways right let's color code this in like this like this clone right so where now we have two options you can go short you can go long if you are going to short the market everybody where should you put your stop loss and if you go long because of the sideways movement where should you put your stop loss and profit take Miguel says agree so let's talk about first the short rate right where should we short the market where should we short the market where the stop loss and where the take profit teachers I'm your student where should we short the market where the stop loss and where the take profit time to shine what if we don't quite get 2 to 1 on our original trade say 1 to 7 and we take profits because we see the market reverses does is our stop the same as our original stop when we re-enter you re-enter on the next opportunity time to shine when you see the change in the short term trade short term trend I'm sorry every time the short term trend changes everybody and you need to be you need to train yourself because no oh, no not all highs and low, uh, highs and lows are relevant so this is the short term trend everybody the red the red is the short term trend and you need to train this you need to train yourself to see this the red is the short term trend the black is the structure everybody the black is the structure and the red is the short term trend and when to when to re-enter every time that you see a change in the short term trend and you need to train yourself to spot and to see the relevant highs and lows that are going to confirm the, tr the structure then every time is an opportunity is the entry not on the top of the 4 hour build? what do you think Kenny? and time to shine the answer is yes you can take profit on 1.7 just make more money that you are risking you know the better the risk reward the better trader you are and the more money you are going to make Oh, so likely the stop will be different. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay, we have 15 more minutes, everybody. So, where should we short the market? You should short the market up in here. Why is that? Because we have a down structure on the 4-hour time frame, right? And we, we have a downtrend, short-term downtrend right short term low higher higher high 
but lower low so this is going to translate to this everybody this is going to translate to this so this is the trend this is the short term trend no all highs and lows are relevant we learned about this right so you have here talking about the short term trend we have a short term trend and we are locked in the sideways movement okay so likely the stock will be different time to shine it's yes the answer is yes but it's your decision you know it's about it's everybody trading it's a mix of those two it's a mix you you can choose to have the same stop loss level but it's going to change your risk reward or you can have a different stop loss level and a better risk reward you know but it's your decision and again you need to be careful with small with short stops with small stops because if you're going to lose one percent one percent one percent one percent you are going to have a drawdown of ten percent so it's a mix time to shine but you need to understand in this lesson that it's your decision the rules are clear if you are going to risk one you need to make minimum two and rule number two don't let a winner to become a loser those are the rules everybody and how to navigate those rules how to manage the trade where to re-enter it's your decision okay short the market at the upper band and put stop loss above the structure high and take profit at the lower band let's see short the market at the upper band so short the market in here put the stop loss above structure high structure high where is the structure high so this is the structure high structure high this is the structure high structure high and take profit at the lower band let's see this is the re reward so time to shine no look how you are risking more than you are making my friend your entry everybody it's not time to shine a lot of you are thinking like this so your entry is good but your risk reward is bad risk reward is bad everybody i think so on the top of the channel how to identify relevant highs and lowest struggle Santana we don't have time today but go back on the Ducas copy webinar page and find the lesson on how to spot relevance highs and lows but it's normal okay it's normal to struggle in the beginning so better to wait till it reaches the upper band then enter short yes sir besides you will be in direction of the yes sir stop loss above the previous structure high no Miguel and time to shine you are risking more than you are making not that one the other high oh okay this is one everybody so this is the other right so it's better it's better right better everybody look at the short term trend why don't we put everybody why don't we put a stop up in here why don't you put everybody a stop when you see a change in the short term trend and let's show you the quadrants the short term trend changed yes and the highs and the lows are this one quadrant 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 everybody look at the quadrants here and let's color code this in black passion I'm confused <laughs> it's normal 
Watch the webinar starting from lesson 1 to lesson 10. Two or three times I'm telling you everybody. There is a lot of information and we are upgrading your knowledge every day. There is a comment on, on the other platform everybody, not on YouTube. Passion, I preferred when you had lessons once a week. This is too much for me. Yes, it's normal. It's a lot to it's a lot to learn, right? So look at the quadrants everybody and look at this red quadrant. Now let's make it blue. Look at this blue quadrant. This is the a quadrant and circle everybody. And yes. So look in here. This is the lower high of the downtrend, of the change, of the short-term trend. So why, why shouldn't we put a stop loss 15 pips above the relevant high? Yes, why is that? Because if this happens everybody we have a 50% chance right we have a 50 percent chance that the short-term trend has changed and we learned this also in the previous lessons how can you confirm a trend 100 percent okay so again all the stop losses are okay this one is okay but you are risking more than you are making so it's bad but still better to have this big stop loss than not to have any stop loss the better is this one but the best stop loss is up in here because if this stop if the market hit your stop loss you have are already a 50 percent change in the short term trend everybody okay everybody our time is up we are going to talk tomorrow about the long trade okay because euro jpy is long it has a long bias on the monthly and weekly okay so you can go you can do both you can short the market and you can go long but we are going to address the long trade tomorrow okay until tomorrow stay strong and trade the passion and watch this webinar two or three times and if you don't understand watch all the webinars two or three times and if you are in quarantine you don't have any excuses everybody to watch the webinars two or three times until tomorrow stay strong and trade with passion and learn with passion this is fx passion signing off